Today, we will be looking at how Brand Esports defended Haven on a team composition I was not expecting against SE Atlas during the quarterfinals of the Philippine Valorant Challengers first week playoffs. Inherently, the defending side has the advantage, as there are three ways for the defenders to win. Their spike diffused if the attackers planted the spike, all attackers eliminated, and time expired. With such an advantage of having an extra way of winning and already having control of the site and entrance sight lines, what is the defending site's disadvantage? That would be having to spread out your members on the different sites and choke points to keep control of those areas. This is what makes Haven much more difficult to defend, having three sites instead of the standard two. Going to the game, Brand's team composition of Killjoy, Jet, Omen, Sova, and as standard compositions go, you would expect a Breach, or for Bren, the usual pick of Phoenix for Borkum, but instead, Borkum played on Sky. We had straight to the third round, with Bren tying the previous round 1-1, leaving Atlas to play an eco round as opposed to the standard gun round third round. With this in mind, Atlas goes for a B-Rush and Sova on site, respecting the play, backs off to play with the team for the retake and applies as much chip damage using his shock darts. This also ensures he doesn't die and gives a gun advantage to Atlas. Now here comes the strength of having Sky and Sova for retakes. The retake starts with the drone trying to gain info on the front side and at the same time the tiger was used to clear out the back side. With the information gained and a nice stun from the Tiger, the team comes in and takes on the members of Atlas holding on the side. With only one player left for Atlas, it was an easy defuse and last pickoff for Bren. On to the fourth round, the Sova and Sky swap positions, with Sky now holding for B, while Sova helping out Jet with the Operator to get control of A long. At the start of the round, Sova uses his Recon Bolt to find any players pushing A lobby, or even to delay such a push. With the same idea, Sky uses a flash to gain info or stall onto mid. This is a recurring early round theme with this comp of Sova and Sky gaining early info and stall over at mid and A lobby. Rarely will you see Sova and Sky use any of their utility at the start of the round on C long. This is due to the design of mid and A lobby leading to two different entrances rather than C long only being one difficult choke point for the attacker. After using a drone to push for A lobby control, with Jet pushing up, essentially getting info or delaying any push towards A site, this allows Sova to rotate and help out on B. Even with the drone gone, because of Sky, there is still one scouting ability available. Bren did win the round, but it was a messy cleanup. Instead of possibly winning the round with 4 players alive, it almost became a clutch round for the last 2 Atlas members being able to pick off 2 members of Bren. Skipping to the 7th round, we have an early round play by Brand to stack a flash and a recon bolt onto mid to help Jet get an aggressive peek out of garage with the operator. Omen is also there, ready with his paranoia for in case the enemy team decides to go for a rush against the op. This is one way of using this team composition. By stacking info gaining abilities to enable aggressive plays and positioning for your teammates. Bren however loses this round but a nice early round play nonetheless. It is important to have different defensive setups at your disposal as to keep the attacking side guessing. With this in mind, Sova uses the enemy cyber cage to his advantage paired with his recon bolt to push far up A long close to A lobby, as well as the jet setting up a crossfire with the op over at A short. With two players already far up near A lobby, the job of Sky is to try and find out where is the rest of the enemy team using her utility. With three sides to defend, being able to have map control, especially enlarge that area of control, allows the team to defend more confidently, being able to predict and prepare on the most likely hit side. We see here, Jet gets a nice pick and Atlas, thinking to rush the op player once again, did not expect the Sova to hold close, garnering him a nice 3k. And on the last round of the half, another slight change up with the early round, with Sky no longer throwing a flash instantly at the start onto mid. This is to catch the enemy team off guard as they would have most likely expected the flash to come out on barrier down. With this new flash timing, the Jet pushes out to get mid control but gets picked off. As the flash was used too late, either a mistiming by Bren or a nice aggro response from Atlas. 
Atlas then goes for a side take on to C. As you can see, I think Bren is much more willing to use up all the flashes to delay and info game. Throughout the match in the defending half, Borkum uses the sky flashes, I would say 70% of the time, for information, stalling, and or denying any over-aggressive pushes by Atlas, while 30% of the time it be used to support peaks, duels, and for retakes. As on retake, Sova has his replenishable recon ball. So in this team composition, as long as the team coordinates their utility, especially the Sky and Sova, they can ensure some info gaining utility is used on the retake. And in Haven, having information on the attacking team's play and possible chosen site to plant on is one of the biggest advantage you can give your team. So with this team composition that Brand brought out for Haven, having two agents with active and dynamic information gaining abilities, this is what I thought allowed them to go 10-2 on defense against SE Atlas, who in by no means is a team that you can just pub stop. If you guys have any games you want me to look at or other plays you want me to break down, comment below or message me on my other socials such as on Twitter or on Facebook.